Hello everyone and welcome back to another Royal Reading. Now I don't know about you but if Meghan Markle hosted a TV chat show I would have to watch probably for about five minutes. Um, that's I think all I could take of it but uh, apparently it's being discussed the possibility is being discussed. I've been hearing this all over the place and I did say the other day I would do a reading on it, have a look and see what the energy is on the subject right now. And uh, here I am using the, I have shuffled them a lot, but um, shuffle them a bit more, the Tarot of Curious Creatures. I thought a very appropriate deck for something as bizarre as Meghan Markle, talk show host. She has of course done Oprah and she's done Ellen. And perhaps those were auditions for her very own talk show. Um, the rumour has it, and of course this is all just allegedly tarot reading, entertainment purposes, all of that, uh, my opinion. But apparently she uh, wants to do it, but she wants to do it in a serious way, not in a frivolous way like uh, Ellen made her go out and do stunts in the street and humiliate herself. And uh, she wants to have a serious conversation. She is, as we know, whip smart. She is, of course, very well informed about all the, the topics of the day. She has opinions on all of them, no doubt wants to express them. So whether any of her guests would ever get any airtime is open to debate. But let's see, six card reading with the Terror of Curious Creatures. And uh, I will explain the cards as I get to them. They are scripted questions. Universe knows what I want to know. And we wait to see what Universe has to tell us about Meghan Markle, the talk show host. And uh, off we go. And um, I wasn't going to look at underlying energy. It's caught my eye because it does kind of look talk show hosty, doesn't it? Uh, somehow. But uh, there is the tortoise and the hare, it's the six of swords, it's the moving away from troubles, it's packed to a suitcase, moving on, but who's going to win the tortoise or the hare, win this race to find their own freedom? Of course, traveling, moving on, and uh, that's appropriate energy for her new vision of herself as a talk show host. Uh, nothing else has worked out, of course. Hollywood career come to nothing. Political career seems to be coming to nothing for various reasons, her own stupidity, my opinion, and uh, her titles getting in the way, apparently. And I might look at that at some stage, some obscure law that might stand in her way. But uh, let's have a look at the general energy at the moment around this talk show host thing. Wow, the world. Oh, she wants it. It's definitely in the works with the world card. Always publicity, maximum publicity, reaching out to the whole world uh, if, to influence everybody, everybody's going to hear what she has to say. Very successful energy with the world. It's always the culmination of a journey. It's reaching the end of the road. Here is the road, and it's been a long and hard road, but this is the culmination of this journey. This is where possibly she's going to find her, her niche at last. She's tried a lot of things, as I said in my preamble to this reading, but this could just be it. How hilarious. And uh, so you may be able to switch on your TV or your whatever you watch things on nowadays. And uh, there she'll be blathering away. So how does she feel about it herself? Does she see herself as a talk show host? Is she pleased by the idea? I know this is a very interesting card because this came out in my pre-shuffle. I've shuffled and shuffled. This just flew out of this deck the first time around, the Five of Pentacles. It's come out in reverse now. Really, she's, she's feeling very sorry for herself. I saw that with the Six of Swords that I was called to look at and to actually pull out and show you. Five of Pentacles, a very sorry panda. Uh, panda has been left out. Panda is almost going extinct and I don't mean that nasty way to pandas. They're adorable. Uh, when I'm feeling sorry for myself, I do like to go and watch panda videos. So I uh, haven't done so for a while, haven't had time. But anyway, it's a thing. And uh, it's in reverse Five of Pentacles. So um, she really, she's feeling so left out, shunned by everybody. 
nothing has worked as I said again in my preamble this is desperate stuff this isn't for the power and the glory but we'll check uh, in another card in this reading this is desperate stuff this is desperate measures to get herself back in circulation that's the five of pentacles in reverse coming back in from the cold being welcomed back in and uh, much as she wants the whole world to pay her attention to notice her she's desperate she really is desperate and uh, so our talks going on at the moment our negotiations underway is anybody interested anybody going to stump up the money for this what's going on on the sort of business side of it oh yes there's a king of wands involved definitely we've seen this character before with Meghan Markle and I don't know who this is whether it is her PR guy uh, someone from Sunshine Sachs who shows up sometimes in her readings when we are talking about her doing deals and and getting literally the show on the road that's that's the talk show host there really uh, um, the leo energy again sitting there on that chair it's a very talk show talk show host kind of a chair kind of a deal kind of an outfit and um, somebody is trying to negotiate somebody is trying to make it happen definitely that uh, media of course with the ones very much um very much streaming services that kind of thing but um, it doesn't tell me that somebody has money attached to this yet or uh, a producer or anybody like that. It tells me that this is in the ideas phase. Ones are all about ideas, brilliant ideas. I know what. Let's do this. All very excited, all very enthusiastic. But the King of Pentacles hasn't shown up. And if he'd shown up in that place, I'd say yes, the negotiations are well underway and they're signing deals as we speak. But no, this is still all talk, I think. But let's see her real motivation for doing this. Uh, we've seen one already, how she feels about it. But is it about money? Is it about political influence? Is it about paving the way to the White House? It's just narcissism. Uh, allegedly, she's a narcissist. Is it about just wanting to hear the sound of her own voice? What is it about? What is motivating her? Nine of Wands, and again, another desperate card. Nine of Wands in reverse. I often forget to say that, and I know some of you just listen and don't watch. So you don't know that the card is in the reverse unless I tell you Nine of Wands in the reverse. She is down and out. She really is. Um, even uh, though she has won her court case, even though she apparently is crowing about it at the moment and telling everyone she's invincible nine of wands in the reverse is anything but that it's anything but invincible it's given up the the nine of wands is the the, the wounded warrior the person who has been um through an enormous battle through 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 trials and tribulations and when the card is upright they are still standing uh, steady they're holding fast and they are resisting and they're ready to make their last stand but when that card is in the reverse, those barriers have come down and they have given up, basically. She is on her knees, really. Twice I've seen this. And in fact, the underlying energy of this reading told me that. Six of Swords. She's, she's in terrible trouble and she needs something. She needs to move on from the trouble that she is in. And she needs to go carefully towards something. Tortoise and hair in this card. She has been all hair. She hasn't literally and figuratively with all those wigs <laughs> and extensions and whatever else. Perhaps she needs to put the hair, hair aside and uh, focus on tortoise energy for a while. That's the slow and steady. Uh, wins the race doesn't it slow and steady wins the race so far she's lost the race by just dashing ahead not listening to anybody not taking anyone's advice and it's just being very headstrong very willful very impulsive and uh, it's got her into a, a lot of trouble seemingly so this is not a happy reading let's see what the tone of this talk show will be like if it ever goes ahead will it be uh, nonsensical like Ellen seems to have become just a farce uh, or will it be a very heavy hitting serious subject what will it be the fool in reverse and it's the fool too in this particular deck the um, terror of curious creatures there are two fool cards because after you have the world which is the end of the major arcana, you get your new beginning. 
you've gone through a cycle, a learning cycle, you should have learned your lesson by the time you've got to the world, you should have evolved, matured, uh, acquired wisdom, insight, all of those good things, and then you're ready for the fool too. You're ready to leap, but you're ready to leap with a bit of insight and a bit of maturity and a bit of wisdom. Um, unlike that hair and that uh, Six of Swords card, it's come out in the reverse. So it doesn't tell me that she's learned her lesson, that she has acquired wisdom, that she's going to get an opportunity to go higher. It is, the full two is about finding your higher path, finding your true purpose, your true vision. You have, you've had that first round where you've made mistakes and you've been reckless and a bit stupid. And now you get another chance and you get it with a wiser head and with a more mature vision of what you actually want. But it's in the reverse, this card, as I keep saying. And as many of these cards have been in this reading so far, not many, but some of them, I do tend to exaggerate wildly sometimes. But the fool in the reverse is telling me she's just going to look stupid. She's going to try to be to come across with some degree of gravitas to sound serious about subjects, but it tells me word salad. It's just enormous amounts of word salad are going to come out. And however lofty her ambitions and her topics are and influential the people are that uh, appear on this talk show if it ever happens, uh, she is going to make a fool of herself. So uh, it could also be gimmicks because the fool is, of course, um, silly. There is a lot of silliness in the fool. It could be that without really meaning to, she, she comes across as silly. But there may, there may be some level of silliness involved, some level of Ellen silliness involved that Megan thinks is how to charm people and win people over because she doesn't have any, and this is purely my opinion, she doesn't have any inherent charm herself. She, uh, she lacks that, that spark, that uh, warmth that people find uh, charming and uh, makes people forgive a lot of things. She doesn't have it, so she's going to have to cover for that with gimmicks. It does seem, however high she might be aiming with this thing, there are going to be some um, low, and I can't think of the word now, the kind of comedy, those kinds of slapstick elements are going to be in it. I shudder to think it's horrifying. And even the five minutes that I said I would endure, maybe too, too much for my nerves, the cringe factor, I think with this is going to be off the charts. So the outcome of this, is it going to go ahead? If it goes ahead, is it going to be successful? How is it going to be? <laughs> And I laugh when I see the Ten of Cups in reverse. No, this is not going to be somewhere over the rainbow for Meghan Markle. This is going to end in tears with the Ten of Cups in reverse. Happy families, it is not. Happy ending, it is not. Dreams come true, it is not. It is going to either not happen or if it does happen, it is going to end up with egg all over Meghan's face. And it's going to be a very sad, it's going to be very miserable for her. It is going to end in tears of some kind because I don't think it's going to be well received by the public. If it does go ahead, it is going to be ridiculed. It's going to be mocked. The fool tells me that. And it's going to hurt. It's going to upset her very much. It's going to be take to her bed. She did write on the take, I think, that there were days when she lay in bed with a bottle of wine and a baguette or something strange and, and drowned her sorrows with carbs. And uh, Ten of Cups in reverse is drowning your sorrows, definitely, with carbs. So I hope you enjoyed that reading and I thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.